SRP.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. Don't waste your time grinding. Don't waste your money on packs. Right now, 500 k is below $17. Stop gambling your money on packs. Go get the team you want. Have the fun you want. All right, guys. We are back. Best player in each position. Let me show you why. Let me break it down, and let's get to it. Now, if you're new, subscribe. I do at least three videos per day. Hit the like button if you like the video. It really supports the channel and the video, and it means everything. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. Left tackle. Why Andrew Thomas? Why not? Okay. Secure protector for one. Identifier for zero. Identifier will show you where the user is for zero. That's important. Now you don't got to spend AP on it. Go get them. Know where the user is. That's who gets the interceptions, right? It's the user most of the time. So the user's on the right, throw the ball on the left. You need him, go get him. He's good enough. You don't got to break the bank and spend 800K. Right. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the wrong players to waste coins. So I'm going to tell you go spend two million on a left guard. I mean that's just silly. And this guy here gets secure protector for one and polar elite for zero. That's going to help against it for counter runs and for tosses. He's going to be able to pull, get out there, get in the way, and help you go get him. You'll like him. Now red tornado. He's in game. He's just fine. This guy here is really gonna be the last center you need all year he does great for me uh i get more pancakes than i thought i really like this card he just based on performance that's who you need um abilities here post up for one nasty streak for zero and you can even get secure protector for one this guy's abilities and stats for end game get this guy until the end of mat and it's fine right tackle I don't want you to go spend 1.8 million on a right tackle for no reason. This guy here gets edge protector for one. That's all you need. I use this guy since the day he came out. I've been using him. Not going to stop using him. I don't get blitzed off the edge crazy where he can't control it. He does everything just fine. Now, if you're not grinding for this crunk and you do not have him, I don't know what you're doing. You have got to, all right? Six foot six, 94 speed. He gets two times chems to anything. I mean, guys, there's there's no reason not to get him, all right? Now, I want to throw another tight end in there because not everybody's going to have him. George Kettle is who I go with, guys. Right here, short and elite for zero. He's 6'4", he's fast enough, and he can block. That's the difference between him and Travis. Uh, he plays better than Owens. Big Dog's a one-truck pony. He's just a blocker, so definitely go get Kettle instead. Best wide receiver I used all year. I'm not talking about APs, guys. I'm talking about animations and what he does after the catch is just stupid. I used him last night. He caught the ball over a guy, broke two tackles, and ran to the end zone. If you're not using Drake London, you're doing it wrong. He's the best wide receiver in Madden. I don't want to hear about APs and, oh, this guy's one step faster. It doesn't matter. This guy does more damage and does more by himself than anybody else. This guy here, Marquez, you can give him 98 speed with the Super Bowl strategy card when you collect all the pieces of the rings. Now, this guy is 6'4", so he can actually jump over people as well. So he doesn't have the best abilities. Nope, but he plays amazing. And I really like this card. Short out leap for zero. That's all you need. Uh, it's great. Now, if you want the best route runner who's going to be really good to help you with abilities and stuff, Short out for zero, short in for one. There you go. That's why I like him better than D-Hop. He has a better AP setup. There you go. D-Hop's great. If you need a guy, nothing against him, but I like these three better. Cole Beasley, five foot eight. Let me tell you something. I'm going by my experience. This guy balls out. He's amazing. Catching the ball in traffic, he's, he's so reliable. And um, if you go watch the gameplay, I actually, Ag somebody with him, which was funny because he's 5'8. Short in for one, short out for zero. There's your abilities again. Do you want another one? Here's another one. Here we go. Short out for zero, short in for one. Short out for one, short in for zero. So if you guys are looking for abilities, and there's your answer, uh, best guy to go throw the ball to is Drake London. Chris Olivier is really good. I do like that card. Running back. King Henry, uh, why? 
Why not Dylan? Uh, right here, here's a reason why. Short and elite for one, he can beat man, man defense. So, so people, are, people are blitzing you and stuff. He's gonna get open and Dylan does not get that, all right? He's also faster than Dylan. And when the X factor shut off, he breaks more tackles than Dylan. He's definitely better than Dylan. Dylan is the second best running back, however. Tom Brady is the best quarterback. Why? His release is just fine. His discounts are insane. And when you have a guy that gets these many discounts, Gunslinger for zero, stuff like that, it really sets up the rest of your offense for AP. This guy's really good. Go get him. You won't regret it. If you're on a budget, go get Joe Flacco. All right. He is an LTD quick sales for 350. He's 409 right now. So you're not really going to lose very many coins. You can't like drop out of the sky and go to 100K and you lose a bunch of coins. This guy is going to be there for a while. He has the best release in the game. His abilities, discounts are just stupid. Fearless for zero here. Hot Remass for two. Pass Lead Elite for two. Gunslinger for one. I mean, this guy here is really good. All Stott, why? I'm going to tell you why. Because he's fast enough. And this guy here gets the best tackle. Anima break tackle animations that I've used all year in fullback. He's better than Christian Okoye. He's better than William Perry. The animations he gets are better. He's faster, and that's why. And I love Michael Stump real life. So here we go. Safety. If you have your MCS tokens, you have no reason not to get this guy. <laughs> 97 is beating 6 4. That's just stupid. It really is. He hits all the thresholds. He's huge. He's fast. And he's pick artist for zero. You should have him on your team. Who else is amazing? Peppers. 94 speed feels a little outdated right now. But when you have a guy so deep, it's not as important. Yes, it's important. I get it. But the animations he gets, he jumps over, around, and then catches the ball. I mean, he like goes through people. Um, he's so aggressive at hawking the ball. He's amazing. Great user, because why? He's six foot seven. Okay, he's huge, he's good. He plays the best for me, he's amazing. Hitman, there you go. He gets all this for zero, he gets great discounts, he's not small, and he gets an X factor that causes fumbles. So, that's big. So definitely, uh, I like Hitman a lot. There's Rod, Rod, this guy is good at stuff you're not supposed to be good at. At his position, right outside, pick artist for zero. Okay? So, he's 6'2", and the abilities he gets is just silly, and he's good. Um, definitely fast enough to come off the edge. Don't like his power move. However, man, the stuff he can get is good. I would not spend a million coins on him if I was you. Uh, you can go get Josh Allen instead. Josh Allen, if you go get him instead, I mean, you're still getting edge threat elite for two. That's a S tier ability to blitz. So if you need a budget option there and nobody's gonna spend a million on him, so there's your answer. I do like Josh Allen. Um, there's White as well. Now, should you pick White? Here's the truth. Uh, White, Lurker and Enforcer, okay, those are more for like if you're gonna be a user. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, Josh Allen gets great animations for me. He's on my team, I like him, go get him. Up next, Jalen. Jalen, he gets secure tackler for one. Putting King and Quadfather down the first time. He's the middle linebacker that gets that, that's why he's important. Lurker for zero, so you can use him as well. He has 6'2", so at least he's not small. Ray Lewis, is number two now because, well, he doesn't get secure tackler for a discount. And that's why he's still a good middle linebacker. I do like Smith better. Here he is. I like this guy. I really do. Secure tackler for one means you're taking down the, the running back. It's so important, guys, to have secure tackler on your team. If you're tired of getting ran on, this is going to shut it down and they're going to have to find something else. This guy's fast. His speedster for zero. And... 94 speed, 97 XL. That's crazy. I really do like him. Here we talk about Hitman. Ward, this guy here, far as like animations and paying attention and reaction, he's amazing. I love this card. Uh, pick artist for zero. If you're a tiger guy not paying attention, he will. 
he gets a great X Factor as well, as far as it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Now, I do pick Jalen over here. He is faster than Bradbury and taller. Um, and really, pick artists for zero is all you need on him. Ward, I love him. He's my number one corner right now. Outside shade, he runs the routes for him, gets you an interception. Secure tackler for one means he's taking down the running back, which is so important. You should be grinding for a six foot four, 96 speed cornerback. I mean, outside shade for two, pick artist for zero. Okay? You should be getting this guy. I don't care if you're in the Legends, the Chiefs, he should be on your team. He's good enough, he's big enough. Go get him. Aaron Donald gives me the best animations. This guy is basically in year. Head Straight Elite is amazing. Go get this card, you won't regret it. Against the run, he, he shows up, I like him. Sam, I did wanna throw him in here because he gets secure tackle for zero. You wanna shut down the run, go get him. Mad Max is just faster. He gets edge, he gets secure tackle for one, and he gets deflator for zero. Now with this X Factor 2, it also helps your D-line. Um, I really like this card, go get him. Grave Digger is the best he tackles, not even close, because he gets Secure Protector for zero. Secure Tackler for zero, yeah. And Mijo Green, this guy shows up. I like this card. If you don't want to spend this many coins on him, uh, go get Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp is great. You get Under Pressure for zero or Ripper. Um, either of these cards will be just fine. Just that green costs more. However, that's what I'm gonna do for me. I did want to show you guys right here, Kicker. Go get this guy. Um, where we go? Where we go? Oh, uh, goodness. You, you don't have to break the bank. You can get um, Daniel. Daniel's just fine. You get 70K on that. Now, the reason why you should go get Hammer, here we go. Hammer has 97 kick power. Okay, so are you tired of kickoff being returned for a touchdown? This guy has more kick power. And guess what he does? He don't allow people taking it out. If they do take it out, they're taking it like seven yards back in the end zone out and they're not gonna be a good, in a good spot. So he's really good for kickoffs. That's why you should go get him. And of course he's the best punter, it's not really. Now kick returners guys, it, it really don't matter as far as, as long as you get somebody 99 speed. So if you have Chiefs team team, you get Hill, that's fine, 99 speed. I would just get speed uh, and make your cuts. Really, that's really all it is. There's not really an ability that breaks you more tackles than that if you want to have a quad father already activate it okay uh but 99 speed should be good enough that's what i did for me guys be kind for no reason help each other encourage each other thank you for the likes thank you for subscribing i'll see you in the next video